Listen, I'll tell you what I'm particularly scared of it are snakes. Um, when I first came in today, they said that you were going to be bringing in an iguana. Now, I hear you've actually got a snake with you, and I've been dreading this uh, the whole day. Yeah, no, um, well, but, And you promised me that you're not going to actually bring no, it in I'll, very I'll close. No, I'll keep him. This, this now, is what a, is this? This is a boa constrictor. This is another species that. Please don't go any closer than that because he's I a bit hungry. I won't cross that line. He, <laughs> another species that you get in the Pantanal in Brazil where we filmed this. I mean, it's it, we were mainly there to find jaguars, and you see them in future episodes, wonderful shots of jaguars, which is the most difficult of the cats to film. But we, f we found these Sorry, as well. Can you, can you just... No, I really don't. If you don't mind, no? I can just oh. look at him if that's okay. Yeah, no, he is beautiful, though. These lovely saddles of chestnut on the tail and, um, you know, not venomous and would constrict a small bird or something, but this has grown up in captivity. You've so got lots of snakes and all tame. sorts of extraordinary animals at home. Have nothing as simple as a cat or a dog. <laughs> no, uh, my wife has a horse <laughs> called <laughs> Kelpie. She's very good at dressage, but I've got giant tortoises and boa constrictors and owls and all sorts of other creatures. But, you know, they are so beautiful, such elegant strategies for survival, and they can do exactly what a jaguar can do, catch a, a mammal or a bird, but they haven't got, you know, legs. So, to me, they are really fascinating and beautiful creatures. Well, I'm so glad you're in love with it. I'm actually quite happy for it to stay as far away as me as possible. But listen, this is all about your new, your new series, The Jaguar Adventures. It starts later on tonight, doesn't it? Yeah, right after your show. And it's uh, the main thing was, was getting jaguars, 50,000 in the world. They really are starting to become very rare. And it's a very serious note to the series as well, because ecotourism could help save them. They kill a lot of cows, but if people go to see them in the Brazilian Pantanal, the, the ranchers can realise that the cats are worth more alive than dead. So it really is great as the series progresses, we unravel the story of how to save the jaguar. It's great to see you can now go with your snake. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't leave it behind. Fantastic to meet you, Nigel. Thank you very much. Thanks, indeed. Natasha. Thank you very much. Nigel Marvin there, who came in earlier on. I'm very pleased to see him leave with that snake, although he's a lovely man.